One of the key features around seasonality is the so-called turn of the month effect. Now this is when major indices tend to gain around the end of a month and into the first few days of the new month, mainly due to flows. However, using Seasonax, you can also look at the seasonality for indices around the middle of the month, as I've got outlined here. And this can show some surprising seasonal biases. The Nikkei, for instance, if you look at the first two days after the turn of the month, has an average return of 0.29% for 52.52 points and a 61.11% winning trade percentage. Furthermore, if you extend that out to the next five days after the turn of the month, you can see that the winning bias is still around 60% and the median return, average return rather, increases up to 0.41%. So, you know, with investors turning much more heavily into Japanese stocks earlier this year, Will the outlook for Nikkei be positive around the turn of the month? This is definitely another seasonal pattern to consider. You can also see a bullish flag pattern here on the Nikkei daily chart and price just sitting underneath that key 3,300 region. Major trade risks. The major trade risk here, of course, will be further talk of the Bank of Japan exiting negative interest rates. That can strengthen the yen and a strong yen is a natural headwind for Japan's export heavy Nikkei. Remember, don't just trade it, season exit.